Hello friends, this is Grace again, and um, welcome to another process video for me. This is number 19. I can't believe I've been doing eight, um, 19 process videos already. It's been fun, and um, I'm so grateful for all of you guys that have been watching, and it keeps me um, going and inspired to do to do scrapbooking. So thank you so much for your support. Um, this one is, I'm working with the December kit that I had put together. I hope that you have looked into that kit that I posted before this process video. Um, I'm using some old papers and mostly scraps, but I want to use them up. And that blue circle one that you saw, the cardstock that I started with, um, that's actually a negative spot of um, some cuts that I've made with my silhouette. Um, I'm kind of in a phase of don't waste, so I've been keeping a lot of the negative spots of the the cuts that I have. Uh, been making and I hope to use them more in the next projects. So I'm cutting some circles to go into my um, the inside spots of that um, cardstock and I'm using the pattern papers. Um, these are pink, pink paisley um, and I believe the title of the this, um, of the collection is Inspire Me, I believe. But as you can see, the circles that I have created are pretty small, and um, you're going to see me in the next video where I had changed it up. I am going to make the circles a little bit bigger just because I didn't like the space between, um, you know, the whites that's showing. There was just too much white that was showing in that um, piece. So I'm going to re kind of cut them again, cut papers again into circles, but bigger this time. And then I have this one that it says every every picture tells a story. I thought that was really cute, and so I was I'm gonna add that. But I I cut it too big. Yeah, I can never get it right. I cut the pattern papers too small, and then this one too big. But um, so I'm gonna cut that one as well and make that just a little bit smaller so that it will be the same as with all of my pattern papers. And then these are pictures of my kids. Um, like I said in a previous video, I went to Krispy Kreme one day and they weren't with me. So I grabbed some hats and um, that night when they were getting ready to go to bed, I just had them put it on. Well, they were putting it on because they were super excited about the donuts and whatnot. And so I told them, you know, just look at me and I grabbed my camera and I took pictures of them. So um, I'm using um, one of those um, die, board, die cut borders. Um, I'm kind of liking them um, because they're so easy to use because they're already they already have the design on one edge and um, they're a pretty good um, quality paper. They're um, not like chipboard but I would say they're like a hundred pound paper because they're pretty thick so I like them and I use the black one in here and then I'm just cutting up little bits and pieces of the L Studio um, cut aparts or cutouts I think that's what they're called and in the next video because um, I stopped here and um, and as you can see I I spent or I it took me days before I came back to this layout because um, I had a nail polish on the next video and then I've totally changed uh, um, I rotated the design of this page um, and that's how I am lately because of you know busy schedule I I just leave my layout on my craft table and thankfully I have a scrapbook room where I can just leave it and then days will go by and then I'll just come back and then finish it off. So now I'm committing and as you saw earlier I had made the change with the circle pattern paper I made them bigger and so now they fit onto the um, the negative spot better and there's just a tiny bit of that white spot that you see and I like that better and I'm leaving the uh, middle uh, I'm not putting any pattern paper in there because it's going to get covered with my pictures and more layering so I decided that I wouldn't need that and then those little circles that I had cut earlier I'm hoping that I can use it in a different layout so that I don't waste those just because they were smaller and um, I just didn't like them with this layout. So anyways, I'm just adhering and committing to all of the rest of my papers. And um, I'm also going to adhere the pictures, but I decided to layer them with um, that uh, die cut paper from SEI. 
I like the paper because um, because it's die cut so you can see through them but there's just that little bit of design that just adds to it and I like that part so as you can see I rotated it so instead of those circles being on the left side now it's on the top and I like it that way better um, and so I was gonna tell you guys that um, I have been thinking I'm I'm all for challenges I love challenges um, it gets me thinking outside of the box and I have this challenge in my head that I wanted to do with a few um, of my youtuber friends that scrapbook as well so if you're interested in participating in this challenge um, message me or comment below I don't know um, how to reach out to the people that I would like to be part of this challenge or kind of a blog hop type of thing. Um, so I'm new to YouTube, so I don't know the terms. If I'm using the wrong terms, I'm sorry. But if you're interested, um, holler, comment, and um, I'll try to reach out to you. It's basically my thought is that we can kind of swap pro products and then see what we can do with them and then make a YouTube video or process video out of them. So let me know if you're interested, comment below, and I'll try to um, reach out to you and hopefully we can do it in January. So anyways, I am still using some of that L Studio um, circle um, embellishments, um, die cuts, I guess that's what you call it, and I'm gonna, I'm putting them in three different places. Now I was initially gonna put um, my journaling in that details with the red details box but um, I wanted to use more of that simple story stickers and so I'm going to just add some more layering and embellishments on that details spot um, and then put my journaling on that um, turquoise blue sticker on the right bottom of the page and then I'm also going to use more of this bow bunny um, button uh, pack so here I am trying to fill up that spot of the detail section and um, I had these I had this twine um, that I had purchased from Target the clearance section on my table because I used it for another project and so I just grabbed that and it turned out well because the colors the green colors worked well with the turquoise in the stickers but um, as you will see later, I'm ha gonna have a, a little problem with it because it was fraying at the end and it was hard for me to make it go through the buttons. Or maybe it wasn't in this layout. <laughs> maybe it's in a, um, a different process video, but um, you're gonna see me in a different video um, finagling with it because it was just too hard to, to work with because it kept on unraveling. So here I am just adding more um, buttons on there trying to see if they look good um, I think I put the the flower button too low like it's in the middle and so I was kind of figuring how how to put two more um, buttons in there but I managed and then I just put a sticker tab on the top just so it's not laying low on the piece and um, so I'm just kind of looking what else I can add and I added this trim from SCI. It's kind of a gold trim and I liked it um, because it adds some shimmer to the page and I'm also going to um, be adding some more of the sequins on there just because I I really like how um, how the sequins just makes everything kind of pop out and so that's basically how I add my trims I use some glue dots to, to add them on the front and then I cut um I leave just a little bit more on the edge and then I turn it over fold it over to the back and then tape it on the back side so I'm adding some red sequins on the top circle and then I'm also going to add some red sequins on the bottom. And I don't think you guys will see me finish this page just because I think my battery died 
before I could before I knew it and I've already finished a page so um, you're gonna just see the finished pro project with some handwritten journaling and the sequence already um, adhered thank you for watching and um, please give me a thumbs up if you have inspired have enjoyed this um, layout and was inspired with my page I will see you when I see you bye